Hello, in today's video we're looking at calculations involving the culturing or growing of microorganisms. The first one involves calculating area, well the second one in fact is the one we're going to look at. The second one is calculating area but the first one is looking at population sizes of bacteria. So the first thing before we do the population size calculation is that we need to remember how bacteria divide and they divide or reproduce by a process called binary fission. Binary fission. And it's and that is similar to mitosis if you've uh, looked at mitosis already in that we have one cell and that can divide into two new cells and those two new cells can go on to divide into four. And if the if the conditions are favorable this can happen as rapidly as once every 20 minutes the number of bacteria can double every 20 minutes and that is if we have the right temperature the right amount of nutrients and so on so let's have a look at what that might look like so here i've got one bacterium and it reproduces by binary fission into two each one of those divide and therefore we have four and as you can see we rapidly as we double grow in number. So there we've just done a few doublings but you can see how quickly the numbers increased. So what we can do is have a look at a question. So here we've got a calculation that we can do and what we're going to do is look at a population size that starts at 3700. The division time is 30 minutes and we say the mean division time and that's because not all the bacteria will divide into two at exactly 30 minutes but on average the mean is 30 as given by the question and let's just get that R correct and if they divide every 30 minutes that means that's twice every hour so they double in number twice every hour and we want to know how many after six hours so if we've got six hours and they double twice every hour that means they double 12 times. Remember, doubling 12 times is not the same as just doing times 12. So you wouldn't take 3,700 and just do times 12. That wouldn't give you the right answer. We have to double 3,700 12 times. Now you could just do 3,700 times 2 times 2 times 2, but there's a quicker way. If we just press times 2 and press the equal sign 12 times, there we have our answer. So we double 3,712 times and we end up with 15,155,200. So that's our final answer. Now, because it's quite a big number, we could show this in standard form, but we'll do that in a separate video. Or we'll learn how to do standard form in a separate video. For this case, for this example, now we're going to look at calculating area. And here we've got an agar gel plate and on that agar gel plate we have some bacteria growing and that's shown by the orangey kind of colored area. We also have these circles that show a zone or an, or an area where the bacteria are dead. And why are they dead? That area is clear. Why are they dead? Because we are testing antibiotics. So here we have a small disc, a small paper disc that's been soaked with antibiotic and it's killed the bacteria in that little zone there. And the zone is actually a circle. So if we can calculate the area of that circle, we can calculate the area of the dead bacteria. So the area of a circle, you may remember this for maths, is given by pi r squared and the specification does actually mention that. So it would be worth learning and remembering that if you didn't know it already. R stands for the radius and pi is a number that doesn't change it's 3.14 so there we can measure the diameter of that circle and I've just measured it as 14 millimeters but that's not the radius we want the radius of that circle and all we do is divide the diameter by 2 so now we have the number pi we have the radius of the circle so it's just a case of doing 3.14 times 7 times 7 which is the same as 7 squared and that works out to be 153.86. And remember, it's an area, so the unit is millimeter squared. So there's our answer for that one. We can try one more calculation, but this time it adds a layer of complication because in actual fact, in reality, those areas are not always perfect circles. 
So what can we do about the fact that they're not perfect circles? Well, we can take more than one reading. So in this case, we're going to take two readings for diameter. And once we have those two readings for diameter, we'll calculate the mean diameter, and that can give us the mean radius. And then we can do our calculation from there. So there we go. We can calculate one, calculate the second, like that. And then we can do our working out. So diameter one, we had as 14 millimeters. And diameter two, I think was 12 millimeters. So the mean of those two will be just a case of adding them up and dividing by two because there's two readings there. And that will give us a mean diameter of 13 millimeters. So then we can use our radius as half of that number, which is 6.5. And then the area we worked out as we did before. So in this case, it would be 3.14 times 6.5 squared, or we can do it like that. And if we put it in the calculator, it gives us a value of 132.67. And again, that's millimeter squared. That's rounded to two decimal places. Okay, so two calculations that we can do regarding culturing microorganisms it's probably worth having a look at what an exam question might look like so here we have an exam question so i'll give you you should pause here and read it and give it a go for yourself and see what you come up with but if not we'll go through it now so what we're trying to do is calculate how many times bigger the area of the dead bacteria is for disinfectant a compared to disinfectant b so how many times bigger is area a compared to area b so all we would do there is divide area A by area B. This is a three mark question, so there's gonna be quite an involved calculation. We've been given area B, so we've just got to calculate area A. So we've got the diameter for area A, 16, so the radius would be eight. So here's our calculation, 3.14 times eight squared, or times eight times eight. And our answer for that is 200 point nine six so then all we do is divide that by area b which is given in the question and when we put that into our calculator remember you will be required to have a calculator for all your science exams so you don't have to do any of this in you don't have to do any of this in your head we have an answer of 5.22 so area a is 5.22 times bigger than area b